The theme of each episode I'm bringing you this month has to do with the tools that I use. Today, we're going to get started with digital note-taking. Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized and make it look easy. Here's a question posed on a Facebook group dedicated to school administrators. I see a need to have a good system of note-taking as an aspiring administrator. I'm leaning toward digital rather than paper note-taking. What could you recommend, or can you convince me that paper is better? So here is my response. The word system jumps out for me, which is different from tool. Your system should allow you to do the following. Number one, enter information in real time. Take the notes during the phone call, during the meeting, when they occur to you as you're walking down the hall. No remembering is required. They go right into that tool. They go right into that system. Number two, enter any to-dos related to what you wrote right there. You don't need to be flipping back and forth between notes, a to-do list, and a calendar. Trap it all right there in the body of your notes. Your notes are more complete that way, and it relieves you the pressure that you're putting on yourself of having to jump back and forth and run the risk of writing the wrong thing in the wrong place. Number three, at some point in the day, review what you've written during the day with an eye for what you need to do about what you wrote. Put those to-dos on a to-do list. And number four, you need to be able to search your notes. When did you call that parent who's now complaining to the superintendent and what was discussed during that call? I wrote about using a paper journal in my book, Get Organized, Time Management for School Leaders, second edition. It's simple and bulletproof. I approach the topic mainly from the aspect of documentation, phone calls, meeting notes, one-on-one conferences, that kind of thing. I'll have a link to that book in the body of the blog post. For a digital tool, it's tough to beat Evernote. It is pricey, but I think it's worth it. There's a free version, but you're limited to two devices, probably your phone and the web on your work computer, and a maximum of 50 notes. For someone taking lots of notes on the fly, you could have a single note, which would have its own URL, and during the day, add to that note. The end of the day, review the note. Cut and paste the to-dos and put them on your digital task list. Cut and paste the other entries to where and put them where they go, such as a conversation about textbook selection and put it in the notebook in Evernote that you already have information about textbook selection. In Evernote, I even have something set where I can send a text message to a particular number from my phone or even my watch, and the message is appended to the bottom of a particular Evernote note complete with a date and time stamp. I'm using if this, then that to help me with that automation. It's a little bit on the advanced side, but it's such a good time saver for me. And I couldn't do it if I wasn't digital. So now, even with the free version of Evernote, you could copy and paste uh, the notes that you take on on the fly, put them in their appropriate homes, and then highlight and delete the note, reuse it another day. Please also visit the blog post where I'll direct you to more information on the free version of Evernote, the phenomenal Evernote web clipper, and other Evernote resources. Also, when you need to find something, the search capabilities of Evernote are the best. If you're an Apple user, you can use Apple Notes. It'll sync between a Mac and an iPhone or iPad. And if you're heavy into the Microsoft environment, you can use OneNote. In the Google environment, you have a lightweight option called Google Keep. And while I think of Google Drive as being more of a filing cabinet for documents, it can be used as a powerful note-taking tool. In the body of the post, I have a link to an ebook that I wrote on that subject of using Google Drive as what's called your second brain. Notion is also a popular option, although the learning curve poses a little bit of a downside. Just to give you another example of how I use Evernote, 
keeping up with our interaction with the people in our lives is important. We're good at putting phone numbers and email addresses in our contacts, but what about the names of your old college roommates' kids and a record of when you've talked during those semi-annual phone calls? I have a note for each of the important people in my life with, an, with permanent information at the top and then date and time stamped records of communication going bottom up so that the most recent conversation is at the top. So when you get your friend's annual Christmas letter, pull up his or her note on your phone, tap your finger in the body of that note where you would like this letter to go, tap the camera icon within Evernote and hold your phone over the letter. Picture that letter now becomes a part of that note in correct chronological order. A search will also search the text of that letter. I have a chapter on Evernote in Get Organized, as well as two chapters in my newer book, Get Organized Digitally. If you use another tool, you can do pretty much the same thing. Many of the same capabilities are available across the major note-taking tools. Having a good tool is important. Having a system for exactly how you'll use it is the thing that will make the difference. Our information is only as good as our ability to put our hands on it when we need it. So my charge for you for this week is to look at your own system for digital note-taking. How easy is it to enter information? Because if it's not easy, you won't use it. How easy is it to search for what you need? And what can you do to make it more frictionless? Hey, if you enjoyed this video, I bet you'll enjoy these two right over here. And be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a thing. Thanks for stopping by. This has been Frank Buck, helping you get organized and make it look easy.